Ladies and gentlemen, the bird has entered the building. That's Scratch Division top seed Tim Hill, looking to win his first JVT title from this number one position, but he's going up against screaming red hot Hunter Mays, who has just pulled a Vera Pop of 300. He finished with 11 strikes for a 290 last game and has already started off with a strike this week. Hunter with two career titles, looking to add a non major to his resume. To their immediate left is the Handicap Division title match. Lots of strikes over there too. A top seed Peyton Workman, who qualified by one pin ahead of CJ Tedeschi, is now playing CJ for that Handicap title. And ironically enough, Peyton's got to win this match by one pin to tie two to win. They're going at the same time, so we'll try and keep track of both of these matches as much as possible. Birdman's very first time in a JVT title match. He's excited. Let's see if he can perform like he's done all day. Good shot in the second. This whole bird thing started off as sort of a... Halloween three years ago. Yeah. It was a Halloween outfit when it ran on Halloween day. And I guess I took notice of it. Huh? So, I mean, how do you not take notice of it? Give, give us the, the thorough background on the origin of it. Um, so, when I was 13, I came in second place in the U15 Pepsi in my division. Yes. And I was going between baseball and bowling. Yes. So that was my first time doing great, and I was just like, you know what? You're screwed, I'm going to bowl full time bowling. Uh, but during that time, this pink towel Uh huh. And so that I figured pink's my lucky color now. Carry on to the next thing. We need a nice bowler shirt for a state. And I wear a black shirt with pink pipe. Didn't do too great. Whatever. Golf back to state again the next year. Uh, got needed a new shirt. So I got a pink shirt with golf pipe. And then we started bowling JVTs and my mom wanted to get me more shirts. But she didn't have any ideas, so she said, and then some Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> a website full of flamingo-based shirts just showed up. And a star so, was born. And that's where it all started. So, Maze's string ends at an incredible 14 in a row, but unfortunately it, left, it ended with a nose split for him, so he falls behind in the match. Prior to the 290, he defeated Harley Swagger 257 to 227. Nice pair from CJ. So he's got a 547 through two. And he might need another big performance because Tim looks absolutely locked in. Swiped the top seed away with a uh, 248, 247 final game. Actually win in the semis. Vaulted him just into the number one seat. There was only 28 pins between uh, number one and number four qualifiers in the scratch division today. So real good competition on a pretty high scoring pattern. That beep beep you might hear on camera is not Tim's heart rate. It's, it's uh, the scoring pedestal. Oh, good shot. Keep it off the head pin by 14 if he converts that fairly simple. The left side looked pretty good today. Peyton looked better than he ever has today. That Peyton Workman. Peyton Sevier was also good today. It was a good day to be a Peyton. Was comfortably in the lead for a while and went minus the last game and just hung on to that number one seed by that one pin margin. Plus 260 to plus 259. Hell no problem with that. Two pin does have that 14 pin lead with this young man's got one of the best strike balls in the business. There's a bunch of two-handers on the show tomorrow, so why not have a two-hander on our show today? It was weird. The two, the two styles that seemed to do well, to, well, three styles, were lefty, two-handed, or dead, dead straight. Brock Bivens, one of the straighter shots on tour. CJ, maybe the straightest shot on tour. Josh Williams throws the ball extremely straight. They all did well. Everybody in between is yeah. in today. Brock, by the way, won U17, 266 to 234 over work for that third place finish. How much he could have done about a 290. Hunter trying to rebound with a double, and he does. Boy, when, when he finds his 
rhythm. He is one of the best on tour at still an early age. He has two titles major, best in the West, and uh, Desert Open, so he's won the last two majors in a row, if you don't count main events. I guess you should, but you know. Birds lead chop the four with that oh, he responds with ten of the fifth. These guys are not just dedicated flamingo wearers, they are dedicated bowlers. They travel our just about our entire tour, the other SoCal tours. If there's a bowling tournament, there's usually a group selfie of the hills in a car en route to it. That's usually how it starts. So I know they're enjoying this title match as well. To my left. Enjoying or nerves, I'm not sure which, how you quite enjoy. That's tight. And there you see why the scores were pretty high today. That was a pretty good tug there. Ball just held right in the pocket. He gets a big double and extends to 14. Look how well Peyton holds his thumb. Really nice job at that. That's going to be a future scratch bowler in about a half a season or so. Hunter's ball just hits differently. Those pins get hit so hard because the ball is still in that you know process of turning over. So it's just hitting the pins with so much energy. correct the score but right before I did I was talking about just how hard Hunter's ball hit the pins and that time you, you carry with the power and you sometimes pay the price is the you saw what two pins accelerate right over the top of that 10 that is as stone 10 as you can get and it comes at a rough time in the match meanwhile CJ gets ball that doesn't hit so hard and you see his reaction to a weak pocket 7-10. CJ's got a couple titles but he's been oh so close to more of them. Had a hard to swallow second place finish up in Albuquerque a while ago. He's avenged himself of that since then but he'd love to uh, break through here. However, so many, if he gets one out of this he'll trail by 12 getting one of those pins back in handicap. Big shot for Hill right here. Down in the pits. So to follow up on his own story, yeah, he wore the bird outfit in Halloween. I kind of ran with it from there. And the family has gone flamingo berserk ever since there. Playing with flamingo playing cards to my left right now. He used to have brown hair and used to have blonde hair and he has uh, certified. Oh! Whoa! Sometimes a one game match is a game of breaks. And Hunter gets that horrible break with that solid 10. And Tim gets the break of his career tripping out the entire bucket with the two pin falling forward last to extend his lead, and now Mays has to put up some X's. Boy, he knew that one when he threw it. He kind of gives it a lingering little look after that. If that 10-pin had fallen, that would have been uh, five in a row for him, and obviously totally changed the This match went over their workman strikes, so both bowlers strike after their overs. They'll be working on strikes in their respective eight frames. Peyton's still leading it by the uh, 11 aggregate. Gael's still here. Gotta have it. And he does. Boy, that tempted still last to go. Plenty of match still to come here as it stands. He's by 24, so he can shut out Maze with a couple more here. Ninth and tenth frames of his life. Ready shot. 
looked a little suspect on 29, but he has been dead perfect on 30 the entire time. And that's interesting because he chose, you know, the lanes to start on. I think he was more uh, worried about finishing first rather than which lane he liked better. And in the 240s right now, the best Maze can do is 240. Whoa! <laughs> CJ says, oh no you don't, to that 8th pin. So a good count mark locks it up. There it is! The bird is flying. I don't know what flamingos eat, but uh, it's, it's uh, a fish, right? I assume a giant live fish for everyone tonight. <laughs> Oh, and now CJ gets an enormous break. That gives him three in a row with the squasher. Oh, so much happens so fast in a century game. And again, again, Tim gets a second colossal break. That one didn't matter that much, but sometimes you pay your dues on tour a very long time and it finally all goes your way. Peyton needs to continue his string over there and he does not with a high hit that gives away a lot of count as well. Now that's going to get dicey over there in the handicap division, but uh, a long, long journey for Tim Hill. His title has come to nest, come to roost. And a great, great effort from Hunter, but uh, Tim Hill just put up 269 to win his first career title. Peyton's got to have this spare. No! As much as these strikes have told the story, that is a crucial spare miss for Workman, and CJ's got a chance to run out of now. So Hunter has a chance to go off the sheet for 244 here, which would give him what? Seven. Which would give him a 791 for three. And I won't even get you a junior bowling turn at the time. Workman does rebound the strike and the you got to have the next one. So yes, with the fill, Hunter shoots 791 and we have second place for him. Welcome to bowling, ladies and gentlemen. A cruel sport at times. Great sportsmanship for me. The entire Mays family going out behind us, by the way. that spare right there is also uh, presents some difficulties because now nine out is well even if that wins because he's getting that pin anyway. Eight one one thirty four one sixty two one ninety that now wins because of that shot so eight one wins better than eight one wins seven we're gonna have to do some uh, arithmetic on the fly. Hi. Whoa, that could have been anything. Instead, that anything has turned into a win. He's already got it, even if he misses it. Exciting matches all the way through the step ladders. But a, uh, a red hair and a uh, pink hair are going to take it down today in Chandler. Great stuff. We do it all over again tomorrow. It's half as exciting as today. We'll have to be in for a heck of a show. See you then.